extraocular needle guided haptic insertion technique for scleral fixation, the producers have no financial disclosures. With a population of 1.3 billion, India is the second most populous country in the world. A large population brings in unemployment and poverty. Poverty in turn decreases health care and eye care access to a major portion of rural and semi-urban India. Given this scenario, Dr. G. Venkata Swami started Arvind Eye Care System in 1976 with mission to eliminate needless blindness. Community outreach to tackle cataract-related treatable blindness was the backbone of Arvind's existence. Eye camps conducted from the most remote rural areas to semi-urban areas in southern India became the means for Arvind to reduce cataract blindness. Manual small incision cataract surgery is the dream surgery to address the restraints of cost, time, volume and low ophthalmic surgeon to patient ratio in the country. Being a major institute addressing volume as well as trainee cataract surgery, though the portion of a fake year generated is comparable to global standards, the absolute numbers on an annual basis are relatively high. It is our responsibility to tackle this volume of a fake year generated by the large number of cataract surgeries. Though we could be the Spider-Man of eye care saving the world from cataract blindness, with great power comes great responsibility. Enter SFIOL technology. Many innovations have been made in the field of SFIOL technology regarding what can be done with the haptics once they are brought out through the sclera right from the original Gabus intra-scleral tank to Agarwal's glued IOL as multitude of problems can be encountered while exteriorizing the haptics, there can be failure of handshake technique due to instrument angulation intraocularly. Can there be a technique that simplifies this hurdle in SFIOL surgery? Enter our extraocular needle guided haptic insertion technique or XNET. Here we make the routine Gabber's intrascleral pockets at two diagonally opposite meridians. A fresh sclerocorneal wound made at a superior or temporal location as per the surgeon's choice is created. A 26 gauge needle is bent close to the hub. A small 2.5 into 3 mm bit of silicon cut out from a number 240 silicon band is used as a stopper. The bent needle is first pierced through this silicon stopper and the stopper is receded back till the bend in the needle. This loaded needle is passed through the sclera 1.5 mm behind the limbus and about a millimeter ahead of the commencement of the gabus tunnel. The needle after being visualized well within the pupillary area is angulated towards the open sclera corneal incision and brought out through it using a McPherson forceps. Next, the leading haptic of the three-piece IOL is threaded into the lumen of the needle and is now exteriorized with ease. The silicon stopper is guided to the exteriorized haptic and the needle is then disengaged from the haptic. Note that the trailing haptic is still safely extraocular. Another 26 gauge needle similarly bent is now pierced through the sclera ahead of the gabus tunnel on the right side and brought out through the sclera corneal section. The trailing haptic is next threaded into the needle lumen and pulled out through the same entry wound. Once the lacking haptic is pulled through and exteriorized, both haptics are fixed into the intrascleral gabus tunnel. This video shows a patient with long-standing aphakia. The sclerotomies will be placed at 3 and 9 o'clock positions. A fresh superior sclerocorneal wound is fashioned due to the superior location of the main wound. The bent 26 gauge needle loaded with the silicon stopper is pierced through to create the first sclerotomy at 3 o'clock. Note the direction in which the needle passes till it reaches the safe pupillary zone. The needle is angulated towards the main wound. 
Note how the blunt tipped McPherson forceps depressing the posterior wound lip safely guides the needle with a sharp tip from within out. It is important to thread the haptic into the needle lumen deeply to at least 4 mm from the haptic tip so that it resists slippage. In one smooth move, the silicon stopper can be transferred onto the haptic before withdrawing the needle. Note that while targeting the trailing haptic, the silicon stopper is withdrawn a little to fixate yet give some extra mobility to the IOL. An important practical point that helps is to keep the needle at the far right end of the sclerocorneal wound while attempting to thread the trailing haptic. This minimizes the strain on the trailing haptic, preventing haptic deformities. It is always a good idea to hold the trailing haptic stably with the McPherson's forceps before retracting the needle. This prevents undue pull on the IOL optic or the leading haptic. Tucking the haptics interest clearly after removing the silicon stopper completes the procedure. Exonate can be used for exteriorization with any technique of sutureless interest scleral fixation of the IOL. It prevents intraoperative mishaps during intraocular haptic handing over. Most importantly, Exonate can be done in complex cases such as small pupil, post-traumatic aphakias with corneal scars, or aphakias combined with ketoplasties such as DSEC or DMEC, where poor corneal clarity is a major deterrent for intraocular manipulation. This has a very short learning curve. This clipping shows how Exonate can be safely performed in an eye with severe compromise of intraocular view due to significant bullous keratopathy. Any intraocular haptic handing over technique would be a great risk in such a patient, but Exonet eliminates the risk by changing the haptic transfer site to a completely extraocular location. A study of Exonet technique was done in 50 eyes of 47 patients. Best corrected visual acuity of 0.5 log mark was 70% at one month post-operative scenario. The only post-operative complications encountered were transient corneal edema in five patients, dispersed vitreous hemorrhage in five patients, and post-operative hypotony in one patient, all of which resolved by the end of the first post-operative week. Exonet totally eliminates the manipulation of haptics inside the eye for all practical purposes and we consider it as the safest technique described to exteriorize haptics.